Our candidates are now ready to shine. So fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Please welcome our candidates and their production number. Our 11 lovely candidates for Miss Gay Pandemic 2021. A big round of applause. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, ladies. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our candidate number one.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. In this midst of pandemic, we should never give up because we will and we can. A magnificent evening to each and everyone standing in the front of the general people of Ireland. And of course, our beautiful and handsome judges is a fresh virgin. What kind of day? Kimwa arte? Sa sobra ka arte? Bakalabate? Kimai bote? All the way from the municipality, Island Northern Summer. Salubak lubak na dalan. Wara katatapus. Barangay yung arawangan. All the way, this is Katrina Ganados Gray, your candidate number two. Thank you. Yoda Lopez Maraya, 27 years old and prom and dignified to represent from the Center of Commercialism, Barangay Sabang Dos. Thank you. Mikai Cordova, 21, from Barangay, Lipata. Thank you. Have the peace and prosperity, Barangay Kabakungan. Thank you.
maupay na gabi sa aking nga tanan. Adi na ang babae na pwede niyo ikumpara kan Maria Clara. Never been touched, never been kissed. Virgin San 2006. All the way from the municipality of Allen, this is Queen RR, 17 years of age, proud and dignified to represent the semi Alongapo of Allen, Kinabranan Dos Dap Dap! Pretty tit, pretty tit, pretty tit. Thank you. Poblacion Sabang Uno! Thing you can apply or consume. It is something one person just had to be. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Christine Jane Maunio Manuel, Baintidos Anios, proud and dignified to represent the most peaceful place in Allen. Kinabranan dos barangay tahime.
Ivana 22 from Barangay Felix Bell, Allen, Northern Samar. woman that holds a long lifetime virginity and conquer a love without an affection in a parallel world which I existed just Brian Gubat Pascual 22 your Miss K pandemic Hukbasan All right, thank you so much, ladies, our 11 lovely candidates for Miss Gay Pandemic 2021. How about a big round of applause once again for them? To showcase their body in their lingerie appearance. So I would like to inform everyone for the criteria for judging for this appearance or for this category. So we have voice and projection for 50%. Seductive gesture for 40% and audience impact for 10% for a total of 100%. And now, ladies and gentlemen, once again, a big round of applause for our 11 lovely candidates. He's starting off with our candidate.
And for charging for lingerie, we have Poise and Projection for 50%, Seductive Gesture for 40%, Audience Impact for 10%, for a total of 100%. All right, so are you ready for the swimwear? Ready na ba lahat? Of course, ready, ready na. And we may call in now candidate number one.
next candidate please, candidate number six.
Contestant number 11. So before uh, we proceed to the evening gown competition, I would like once again to uh, to give you the criteria for judging for swimwear. So yung kanina pa lang naganap. So poise and gesture for 40%, body language for 30%, ramp delivery and confidence for 20% and audience impact for 10% for a total of 100%. And for the information of everybody, for the evening gown, the criteria, elegance, grace, 40%, voice, eye contact, 30%, charisma, confidence, 20%, audience impact, 10%, and that calls for 100%. Okay, so ready na ata ang ating mga candidate for their evening gown. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our candidate number one. Big round of applause for our contestant number one in her divine evening gown.
Okay, how about a big round of applause once again to our 11 lovely candidates for their evening gown competition. Yes, ladies, you have done a great job. Congratulations. And of course, again and again, this, uh, this gay pandemic 2021 aims to uh, promote the gays, the, gay culture, yeah, the, gays, the beautiful ladies of Allen, and of course, the ecotourism of Allen. Yes, case with a strong sense of responsibility, can intellect and dignified spirit. Yes. At yung kanina nakita ninyong videos that was actually judged by our virtual judges from Manila. Okay? So meron kaming group chat doon. And then yung mga taga-alin um, na nandun din sa group chat. So create kami another group chat na nandun yung mga taga-Manila. So Ang virtual videos natin was actually uh, judged by um, Ma'am Emilu versus Delphine, Ma'am Cheselatan, uh, Ma'am Chesela Pachatan, we have Attorney Heidi G, Attorney Heidi Escuelas, and Tita July Carino. Okay? And they already have the top five for the Eco Tourism video. So, palapakan ulit natin sila sa effort na ginawa nila doon sa ating mga ecotourism. Ayan, so, naglakbay tayo ngayong gabi sa napakagandang beauty spots ng Allen. Right? Okay. Here is our top five for ecotourism video. We have candidate number one. Please come forward. Candidate number seven. We have candidate number nine. Candidate number four. And finally, candidate number five. At napili po ang tatlong the best na gumawa ng video. All right. Our third place for our video or ecotourism video goes to candidate number nine. Congratulations, candidate number nine. The award, the cash award, will be handed by Mom Jamaica Ada. Second runner-up or third placer. Congratulations you, again, con contestant number nine. Our second or first runner-up for the um, ecotourism video goes to candidate number number seven, Kim in Tico. And our cash prize will be handed by our very own judge number eight, Mom Dindi Sili. Again, congratulations. Congratulations. Candidate number seven, first runner up for Eco Tourism V2. Congratulations and thank you, Ma'am Dean. And finally, ang nagwagi sa ating ecotourism video. Is it candidate number five, number four, or number one? What's your guess? All right, wag na natin patagalin pa. It's candidate number one from Lagundi. The Kabakuman Punta Rock Formation. Congratulations. Congratulations. Of course, our cash prize will be handed by 
uh, Sir PJ Pagliawan to do the honor, please. Congratulations again. Congratulations, ladies. You may now go back to your uh, to your place and get ready for the Q and A preliminary questions. Okay, Bess, can you please give them the mechanics? Okay. So we have the bowl, which uh, the, the name of the board of judges. The number the contains number. the number of the judges. So each candidate will select, will pick, or will pick the number, and whoever he or, or he or she, she will answer the question from the panel of judges. Yes, of course. They already created questions, right? Okay. Thank you so much for that, judges. Okay. Can we have now candidate number one? It's your turn now. Okay, how are you today? Oh, tonight? Today, tonight? A little nervous. Okay, a little bit nervous. Okay, lang yan. Kaya yan. Kaya kaya, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, so can you please pick one? We have chosen judge number three. Good evening. Good evening. Um, what do you do for a living? Pardon? What do you do for a living? I do for a living. Study uh, as a student. I work hard. To I work hard to achieve my dreams and goals. And also, as a, as a, as we graduate, I want to help my family, my parents, to help my family grow bigger and to help our community to help the community gain more. Gain more and sustain that and sustain the cleanliness of the environment. And as the environment grows, our future grows bigger and we have a better future. Thank you. Thank you, Tessa, number Thank you. one. Candidate number one. So ladies, just relax. Ladies, relax and kayo, ha? Okay, chill, chill down. How about candidate number two now? It's your turn. Headly pick one. Wow. Ganda. Dati kong sisyante. Beauty queen na ngayon. Your lucky number is judge number two. Hi, Katrina. How are you feeling? I'm so hungry now. <laughs> what? Same. I'm so hungry now. <laughs> All right. Um, this pandemic, um, starting this pandemic, there has been no face-to-face -face, um, classes. And what can you advise to our young children in order to be productive during these times? Thank you very much. Unang una ko po, ituturo sa mga tao. Gagawin ko po Gagawin ko po isang 
halimbawa ang sarili ko sa mga bata tulad ng isang Bible study unang-una ang Bible study because dito po natin nakikita ang talino ang tinyaga ng isang bata dito po natin makikita ang isang normal bilang isang estudyante dito sa mundo as a student Ipapalawa ko po sa mundo bilang isang estudyante na kahit may pandemic, gagawin at gagawin natin ang lahat. Dahil naliniwala pa ako, once a Filipino, always a Filipino. Never can change. And I thank you. Thank you, contestant number two. Ladies, just relax. Take, take your time. How about candidate number three now? Confident. Confidently with a heart. beautiful. Confidently beautiful with a heart. Okay. Pick one. <laughs> wow. So. Candidate, uh, judge number 11, wala dito. So, can you please pick another one? Judge number 9, please. Hello, candidate number 3. Hello, good evening. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. I am ready and go get the crowd. Okay. Which do you prepare? Which do you prepare? The question and answer portion. Of difficult or an easy question? Of course, ma'am. The easy or difficult is my job to answer that politely. Okay. Very good. <laughs> All right. Uh -oh. Okay. Here is your question. Municipality of Allen is one of the most progressive municipality in the province of Northern Samar, has also marked in its own name. Now, how will you introduce Municipality of Allen to the blind person? Well, although the blind person cannot see, of course, no. But I will tell him or him, the municipality of Allen is, aside from the Gateway to Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao Island, I will promote the ecotourism by, by changing her mind not to be down in times of trouble, even though he is blind or she is blind, because God created him or God created her as a blind. Oh, the eyes can see the negative and positive aspect of life but the blind cannot see although but i will i will see to him that do not be affected by your weakness in life but god is always the has a purpose in life thank you thank you so much candidate number three fiona wow all right <laughs> only in Allen <laughs> Miss Pandemic <laughs> contestant number four please all right contestant forward. number four is your turn now the neon green lady okay so feeling nervous or confident I'm also hungry all right, feeling hungry. Okay, just pick one so that after this you can eat your merienda. <laughs> and your destiny is judge number seven. <laughs> judge number seven. Oh. You judge number 11 is actually Ma'am 
Shumaika Ada. And judge number seven is a Dr. Alan Salas. And he's not around. And he is not around. So, what's your, ano, your plan? Can you pick another? Okay, let's pick another one. Wow, it's judge number six. No, judge number six. Judge number six, please. Good evening, contestant number four. Okay. Do you think overpopulation is an important environmental issue? Why or why not? Can you repeat the question? Okay, once again. Do you think overpopulation is an important environmental issue? Why or why not? Yes, because environment is not being complete without the community. It is an important issue to us because the poorest community cannot be highest without the environment. Without the environment, we have our lives Without the environment, we have our people. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, that is candidate number four. Can we have candidate number five now? Miss Ivana Trinidad from Kapakungan. All right. Can you please speak one? Just relax. Thank Just you. Relax. Take your time. Take a deep breath. Inhale, exhale. Oh, judge number five. The Honorable Councillor of Allen. Yes. Hello, good evening, candidate number five. Hello, good evening, sir. Um, uh, this is my question. If you're giving the chance to bring home the crown, uh, Miss Gay Pandemic 2021, what would be your biggest contribution in the community in protecting and preserving our environment? I think um, to win this um, pageant and to bring the crown in our home or in our barangay is, um, I think, the one... Uh, I'm, you know, ladies and gentlemen, I am standing here not just only um, a, a candidate but also a spokesperson. A spokesperson who will give an a message, a message to to amplify the voice of the government, which is to respect the the rules and regulations. Because you know, ladies and gentlemen, hindi natin nakikita kung ano ba talaga ang tunay na problema. Dahil mas nakikita natin ang mga negatibong na ibibigay ng pandemyang ito. But you know, ladies and gentlemen, we should respect this. The the rules and regulation of the government, the government, but the most important here, ladies and gentlemen, is don't forget the faith in God. That's all. Thank you. Thank you so much, candidate number five. All right. Can we have now candidate number six? Okay, share you naman si ano, Queen RR. All right. Judge number four, please. Uh, good evening, candidate number six. Good evening, ma'am. Uh, here is my question. How is the pandemic affecting tourism industry, especially here in our municipality? Pandemic. 
pandemic brought us an adverse effect to the society and the whole humanity. It gives us stress and anxiety through lockdowns and fear of being transmitted with the disease. As a recourse to that, I can promote ecotourism by simply encouraging people to take up space and time to relax. But, of course, we need to follow the guidelines and protocols mandated by the government and AITF, wearing face masks and face shield, and also always observe distancing. That's enjoying the beauty of nature with precautions. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very well said. Contestant number six. May I have your attention? Contestant number seven. Okay, so pick one, please. Judge number eight. Ladies and gentlemen, for me, the responsible in this issue to high population in our country. Population. Pardon, Mama, again. <laughs> okay, ako na lang gambasa. Okay, here's your question, Miss Kim Abela in Tico. Who do you think is more responsible for pollution? Pollution. Individual people or the government? Explain. Thank you. For me, us, the people, it's not the government. Bakit? Dahil tayo po dapat ang manguna sa pag- sa pag-alaga ng ating kalikasan, hindi ang gobyerno. Dahil ang gobyerno, yan lang po ang nagtuturo kung ano ang dapat at anong maling gawin. Kaya, pangalagaan po natin ang ating kalikasan para sa mga, sa, para sa mga darating na henerasyon at kabataan. Maraming salamat po. That is candidate number seven. Thank you so much. How about candidate number eight? It's your try now. Okay. May stage mom ka sa likod. <laughs> Judge number? Number ten. Judge number ten. Wala ditong judge number ten. So, we may request na lang Ma'am Bibin to do the honor. Okay. Do you have boyfriend? No boyfriend. Such a A future boyfriend? Sige lang po, in a person. Sa chat lang. Okay. There is a question. If there is only one dose of COVID-19 vaccine left, and you have to choose what, who or to give it your boyfriend or your mother. Can you translate in Tagalog? <laughs> 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 
Kung bibigyan ka ng pagkakataon na merong vaccine na isa na para doon sa COVID-19 na natitira, sino ang gusto mo, sino at kanino mo ibibigay doon sa boyfriend mo o sa nanay mo? Salamat. Kung ako man ay bibigyan ng vaccine, kasi na, isa na lang ang natitira, mas ibibigay ko ito sa aking nanay. Kasi mas mahalaga ang aking nanay kaysa sa boyfriend. Kasi pwede tayong iwan ang ating boyfriend. Kasi ang, mas mahalaga pa ang ating nanay kaysa sa boyfriend. Kasi pwede tayong iwan kahit anong oras. Kaya ang pipiliin ko po ay ang aking mama kasi siya lang po ang forever ko. Yun lamang po and I thank you. Thank you so much, candidate number eight. Can we have candidate number nine, please? Purely. How do you feel right now, candidate number nine? As always, I'm hungry. Okay. Expected to be an answer. Judge number one, please. Good evening, contestant number nine. Good evening, sir. Uh, my question is, name two issues faci facing our environment today, and what kind of action will you start and why? Come again, sir. Okay, I repeat the question. Name two issues facing our environment today, and what kind of action will you start and why? Thank you so much, sir, for that very mind-blowing question. Um, before I answer that question, I would like to say good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and also to the panel of judges. Good evening, madam, sir. Okay, the two issues that, are fa that our environments are facing today is first, pollution. Pollution, why? Pollution starts from us, not from other people, not from other country, but us people. We are polluting our environment and what we are going to do to reduce the pollution is we have to keep safe and we have to take care of our pollution. Then second is this pandemic. How this pandemic affects our environment? Of course, ladies and gentlemen, it affects our environment because nawawala na tayo, nawawala na tayo ng kita in terms of ecotourism. So, sobrang laki ng epekto ng pandemic ito sa atin, sa atin environment. And how we be able to overcome this problem? First, of course, we have, first, of course, we have to take care of ourselves. We have to take care of our environment because ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the day, it's us who will benefit from this. It's us who will benefit from all those um, sa lahat ng makukuha natin in terms of tourism. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, sumunod tayo sa lahat ng rules and regulations ng ating government. Let's not be hard-headed. As I'm always saying, let's help them grow and protect our environment. We have to help hand in hand to make this world a better place to live in. And as I'm always saying, ladies and gentlemen, have faith in God. Because in God, nothing is impossible. Thank you and once again, good evening. Thank you, candidate number nine. Candidate number ten, please. Okay, so nabusin na tayo ng number. Isa na lang number natin. Kasi kanina, wala dito kasi si judge number 11. Okay, candidate number 1 again. Okay, good evening. Question number 10. Uh, question 
one is what is the important lesson you learned in life this pandemic and how can you apply that in your future and in the community? Thank you, sir, for that wonderful question. To me, um, ang may apply ko sa sarili ko ngayong pandemic na to is it's all about uh, wearing a face mask and palagi mag-alcohol. Then, um, Pwede mo ilo. Ang ako po ma... Ibubulik sa... May apply sa ako. Na experience na ngayong pandemic na to is... Okay, so naunahan siguro ang candidate number 10 natin na uh, nervyos for ka ba? Okay, our last candidate please, candidate number 11. Okay, hindi mo na lang siya. Candidate number, oh, candidate, I'm sorry. It's judge number 7. Though our 
Remark one quotation around you all. Maraming fake news sa Facebook nagsasabi, huwag kang maniniwala sa COVID. Ang tanong, natikman nyo na ba ang COVID-19? Natamaan ka na ba? Don't tell me what you just agitated. Your argument, your statement, because it will affect the mind of everyone. Which means, I will not be affected because I know what's the truth. And that is only the truth. And don't make this kind of issue a fake one. And I thank you. All right, thank you so much, ladies. Once again, panapakan po natin and candidate number one down to candidate number 11 for the preliminary questions. And while waiting for the results, I would like to award our three appearances. Okay? So this award, meron tayong gift certificate na makukuha. And then you can claim that one doon sa restaurant na makukuha ninyo dito. Okay? So, this is actually I sponsored by our restaurant. Yung napuntahan ninyo. Okay? Yung na-endorse ninyo. Okay, let's let's start with best inventory. Meron din ditong cash. Best in Lanchery goes to candidate number seven, Ivana Trinidad. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Kim. Nagamali lang ng pangalan. But this is candidate number seven, Kim in Tito. Congratulations. Hello. The sash will be put on by. Sir PG. And you can claim your Candy check, candy check. Is it the number na nagkamali or the name? Candy check. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, it's candidate number five. Okay, candidate number five. Can we request once again to please do the honor of putting on the sash for our candidate number five, best inventory, and you can claim your your um, your snacks. At MK or Maria's Kitchen here. So to recap, our best in lingerie is contestant number five. Congratulations. Once again, congratulations, our best in lingerie. Okay, now for our best in swimwear, our body beautiful. You can claim your snack at AJ's Resto Bar. Congratulations, candidate number five, Ivana Trinidad. We may request Mom DS Lin to please do the honor of putting on the sash to our candidate number five for best in body beautiful.
Congratulations again, contestant number five, Miss Body Beautiful. Thank you so much, Mom. And thank you so much, candidate number five. Okay, next. Best in Futuristic. This is actually from the virtual judge. And you can claim your pizza at HTE Cafe. Located at Kangkong, Sabang Dos, Allen Horizon. Sabang one, Brian. Sabang one, I'm sorry. Best in Futuristic goes to candidate number one. Keno Pantula. And Carrie requests Mom Arlene Bandal to do the honor of putting on the sash to our candidate number one. So again, our best and futuristic guitar is contestant number one. So our top five, our first, we have candidate number six, Queen RR. We also have for top five, candidate number 11, Jasper Ryan Pasquale. Next in line, we have candidate number seven, Kim Avila Intigo. And to compose our top five, we have candidate number nine, Christine Jane Mauno. And our last candidate to compose our la our top five. It's candidate number. It's candidate number five, Ivana Trinidad. So our top five will be asked for another questions. One common question, okay? And from that one common question. They will pick the top three. So thank you so much, ladies. And you did a great job. All right. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for our top five. Candidate number six, 11, seven, nine, Okay. Very okay. request. Question. To be the honor of asking the common question for our top five. Okay. Right, shall we start with candidate number? Hello. Okay, so as a green, it has, I don't know, um, as decided by our judges. So, bawat isang judges na lang na natatawagin ko for you and for them to ask you the question. So you will ask, uh, you will answer the question. Okay? So, from to be fair, yeah, to be fair. So, no common question lang. Alright? So, 
Um, number six, please. So your question is coming from the Honorable um, Maylene Gatasilo. Maylene Gatasilo. Relax lang, Relax lang. How are you? Hello. If I won the crown tonight, um, I will always promote our ecotourism here in our municipality of Allen. Um, because, I mean, as a candidate, um, we all know that the pandemic right now um, I mean, I'm just going to go for the independent So, as a candidate, if you have a chance to be a candidate, and ako'y mahihi mo, i-promote ko ang aton ecotourism, tinis aton sa buong Tusan Allen through personal and through social media by by encouraging people para para pasyadahon ang aton ecotourism. Aram na itong tanan na ang ecotourism sa alin yan, damo ang nabisita ngat damo ana damo an damo an na mamangha tungod kay an aton ecotourism din sa bukno san allen mas lalo na pinamayan ngan mas lalo nga pinabongga or should i say super gorgeous so as a candidate mao ko yon an ako mahihimo bilang sir na kandidata an pagpromote san ako san aton ecotourism din sa bukno san allen kay sa iyo ang ecotourism sa ato bukto sa alin sa pinakamayad naging bibisita sa mga sa mga taga iba na lugar nagdadayo si Rafa Kadidine para para mabisita ang ato mga ecotourism just like ang ako na punong na landmark Kinagitman Falls um, I should say that Kinagitman Falls is my own description of paradise. It is literally run through water rapids, um, really relaxing, very enjoyable. So, um, last, bilang sayo na kandidata, pwede natin, pwede pa natin, aside sa, aside sa pag-promote sa ato, ecotourism, pwede, Pwede kita bumuling sa ato munisipyo or municipality sa ato municipality dinhi sa Bukusan Allen kay um, bilang sayo na Allenians diri kita na papirde pakusog kita diri kita na papirde sa kada ay diri kita na papirde sa kon kanino man yun lang po ang damo na salamat Thank you candidate number 6 Sir, the nice sir, please. All right. So let's have candidate number eleven. So candidate number eleven, um, I guess, is from candidate number uh, from judge number two, Mom Jamie. Hi, Jasper. Congratulations for reaching top five. You guys did an excellent job in presenting the 
11 eco tourism spots of Allen Northern Summer earlier on your videos. I really love that. Now, if you were given a chance to choose one tourism spot among those 11 spots in Allen, what would that be and how are you going to promote it to the people outside of Allen? So you can answer in any language you are comfortable with. Ang pipiliin ko po is Kabakuman Beach. Many of us know that this beach was new to us. Pero sa ibang bansa, sa ibang lugar, kilala na ang Kabakuman Beach because of influence from us using social media platforms like YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, and even Twitter. And I do believe, makikita naman sa social media ngayon kung gaano kataas ang rating ng Kabakungan Falls. Doon na, I beach. Yeah, sorry. And I will also promote Kabakungan Falls using my multi-communication skill. Because not all of us can understand Tagalog and Visayas. Paano makaka-understand ang mga foreigner? Marami kasi mga foreigner ang hindi nakakaintindi ng Tagalog. And I will use my multi-communication skills, my English communication skills, and able for them to understand what I'm trying to, to influence, what I'm trying to promote in this kind of event. And I thank you. Thank you. We have now number five. And should I ask Honorable Christian Love? Uh, good evening. Congratulations for making uh, uh, Thank you. 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 Despite of this pandemic, why did you decide to compete in this pageant? And nano pa ni mo, nano pa ni mo paabot sa kadatag sa dinlian sa ato. Ano pa yung nagabisyo? As a candidate of Miss Gi Pandemic 2021, I'm here in st standing in front of you tonight to promote my advocacy, which is the about um. Health, mental health issue in this time of pandemic is very timely. As a advocate, as a, as a advocate, gusto ko pong sabihin sa inyo na huwag po tayong mawawalan ng pag-asa at patuloy po tayong lumaban sa anumang pagsubok natin, natin na dumaan sa ating buhay. At patuloy po tayong magtulungan at sumikap na masumpo natin itong pandemya. Maraming salamat po. Thanks so much, candidate number seven. All right, so can we have candidate number nine, please? And your question is coming from, will be coming from Ma'am Shomaika Ada. Hello, candidate number nine. Good evening, ma'am. So the question that I prepared for you is related to the title itself, which is Miss Gay Pandemic. So the question is very simple. If you are under strict quarantine and isolation, what are the three most important things that you want to bring in an isolation area? I'm so sorry, come again, ma'am. Okay. If you are under strict quarantine and isolation, what are the three most important things that you want to bring in an isolation area? Thank you so much, ma'am, for your question. So, the, fir the first thing that I will bring in the isolation area is the PPE. Because we all know, ladies and gentlemen, that it's very important to us to protect ourselves from this virus. For example, alcohol, face mask, and of course, facial. It helps us to prevent affecting our 
health from that virus that we are facing today. Then second, the love of my family. I will bring the love of my family for I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that there's, there is nothing more powerful in this world than love. So I will bring my, the love of my family in the isolation area for me to overcome any fears. Any fears from this pandemic that we are facing today. Then the third one that I will bring in the isolation area is my faith in God. Because ladies and gentlemen, there is, as I've always saying, there is nothing more important in this world than having faith in God. Because in God, there is nothing impossible. Thank you and once again, good evening. All right, so let's have candidate number five. So I guess our question will be coming from Mom, yes, yes, Mom, Lourdes, yes, Dean. This pandemic couldn't um, affect the uh, gender violence because this pandemic was talk about the, the virus, which is the COVID-19, and it's not um, it's not um, talk about about the gender. Yes, about the gender, so that we we are the issue right now is focusing on pandemic and the COVID-19. That's it. Thank you. Okay, so can we have the final look for candidate number six? Move forward. Okay, how about a round of applause to candidate number six? Thank you very much. Number 11, please. Number five. Number nine, and of course, number five. Okay, thank you very much. You have you did a great job. Well done, and good luck. So, only one will. Be crowd this game pandemic 2021, but all of you are respective owners in your own right. All right, so the moment of truth. We may request once again our candidates to please, from candidate number one down to candidate number 11, please. So before we give you the final result, let me give you first the special word for elegance. Our elegance goes to and you can claim your snack at Sarah's Restaurant. Candidate number 11, Jasper Ryan Pasqual. The sachet. The sash, I mean, will be put on by um, 
The Honorable Councillor Mylene Gatasilo. All right, our next, our next award, a special award, People's Choice Award. Our People's Choice Award, galing po ito sa ating virtual judges, and our People's Choice Award, Goes to candidate number five. Thank you so much. And for our top three. Our second runner-up, gathering a score of 80.75%, it's candidate number... Matapaka mo? Wala mo nakukulada! It's candidate number... Candidate number nine! Christine Jane Maunya Manuel. The Sash. I would like to request um, Sir PG Pagliawan and Mom Jamaica Ada to do the honor of putting the Sash to our candidate number nine as our second runner up. And to hand on the Chupé for our second order up, we may request um, Ma'am Arlene Bandal to do the honor. And to hand on the cash, we may request um, Miss Noel Calagos, my co-organizer. Congratulations. Next. Gathering a score of 83%. Our first runner up goes to candidate number 11, Jasper Ryan Pasquale. To put on the sash, we may request. Um, Ma'am Ma'am JV Floralde And the hand on the trophy The cash prize for our First runner-up, we may request the Honorable Councillor Valen, Consi Christian Lau. Together with the trophy, please.
How about the Turkey? And ladies and gentlemen, our newest beauty queen of Allen, the Miss Gay Pandemic 2021, goes to gathering a score of 83.75%. It's candidate number seven. Kim Avila in Pico to um, put on the sash. We may request um, Mom Lourdes Diaz Din. And to hand in the trophy and the cash prize, we may request Mom Dindin. So thank you so much once again and thank you all of you to for coming over and for sharing your precious time with us. All right, and this is Miss Gay Pandemic 2021. Once again, a big round of applause to our top three. All right, so just stand by for the pictorial. So thank you so much once again to our sponsor. So please wear your... I And I'm so sorry. <laughs> For the crown, we may request our the Honorable Counselor of Allen. Once again, Consi Christian Lau. Our Chairman of Board of Judges. Together with Mami Anna. Gatunggay. Please do the honor for the crown. I'm sorry, nakalimutan ko ang crown. All right, so congratulations to our candidate number seven, our Miss Gay Pandemic 2021. A big round of applause, please. Okay, so just stand by for our pictorial. So we're requesting our judges to please for our pictorial. Okay, alas dos na. Dito tayo. 